This is the one BI steam drilling engine from PM Research. It is a very simple design. Steam goes in here. There is a valve in here that slides back and forth with the motion of this arm. As that valve slides back and forth, the steam that's entered here is distributed to one end of the piston or the other. As it inflates the air on this side of the piston, the crank moves forward. The valve changes position, putting the air back over here, pushing the piston back. It is a very simple design. It is not like an internal combustion engine. This piston is pushed both ways at all times. This is the intake. This is the exhaust. Now here's the concept. Take the exhaust, repipe it back into the intake under pressure, seal the whole system off, and the pressure should distribute equally from this end to that end, and back and back and back, and run by itself. With no supply, indefinitely. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a T. I'm going to use vinyl tubing. And I'm going to use two check valves. These are very important in making this work. You cannot see through them. That's why they're called the check valve. The red arrow indicates the direction of flow for whatever you put through it. I'm putting air through it. There's a rubber seat. There's a ball. There's a spring. Pressure goes in this way. Displaces the ball. Whatever goes past it goes past it. When it comes back this way, no bueno. It makes the seat. These will be arranged in such a manner as to introduce the pressure into the system, seal the system, and then have it go from the exhaust back into the intake all by itself. Give me a minute to strap everything down, cut this tubing, tie it together. This is now secured to this block. There are some small finishing nails here to keep the thing from spinning. And there's a plate on either end to keep it from walking off the block when it does start. And I'm going to say it will start. I'll be right back. Let me pipe this up and try it out. All right, everything is mounted to the board. The supply air is coming over from the mill. I squeeze the gun. The gun provides the pressure through the check valve. Check valve goes through into the T, pressurizes this whole line. It's not going to get past this because of this check valve. So the air pressure is going to follow the course of least resistance and go into the steam chest. That is going to start the reciprocal action of the piston. Any exhaust coming out is captured here. Goes back through this line, back into the T, and encounters a roadblock here because of this check valve. It is not going to compress this air. It is going to follow the path of least resistance back into the cylinder, and it should start and it should stay running. This is an exciting moment for me. When this thing, if this thing continues to, to run, I'm going to take these clippers and I am going to snip the feed line and see if this thing continues to run. I bet it does. Logically, it's it's got to. Got to. The exhaust is going to feed the intake. It's going to stay running. Okay, I couldn't get the whole thing in frame, but here is the airline down here that is just a loop off camera. Gentle air pressure, I'm going to get the wheels turning up here, maintain it for a second, and then I'm going to cut this line, and I guarantee it stays running. Good, no leaks. Here we go. Moment of truth, people. <laughs> Are you kidding me? How cool is that? The exhaust is feeding the intake. It's going to run forever. <laughs> There you go. I'm going to apply for a patent on this one. I don't know what you call it, but I'm going for it. Thanks for watching. Joe Pye, Advanced Innovations, Austin, Texas. I'm out. <laughs> Let's see what it takes to stop it.
There you go. Love it.